It's been more than a year and a half since Michael Monkey Vaughn went missing from his Fruitland neighborhood. He was just five years old. And just about an hour ago, Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff says they completed the excavation of the backyard of a home just four minutes from the Vaughn's house on Friday. He also says they've just wrapped up searching the inside of that home today. They're looking for Michael's remains there. News Channel 7's Abby Davis joins us now live in Fruitland at a prayer circle the community organized for Michael and his family. And Abby, they want to lift up this family in this really terrible time for them. That's right, Doug. Their biggest thing right now is just to show Michael, show the entire Vaughn family that the Fruitland community is here and that they are here to support them. Right now, there are about 50 people at this prayer circle. You can kind of see behind me. You can see those lights. People are just lighting them right now and people are still trickling in as well. Now, the organizer told me that they will start the prayer circle with a pastor who will be praying and then a family is also here and ready to sing some songs. So a night of really coming together, that is the biggest thing right now. They want to just come together, like I said, and make sure that the Vaughn family feels the love and feels the support in this tragedy that everybody here has been feeling so closely. Now, this isn't the first time that they've done something like this. The community came together last year as well for a, for a candlelight vigil that was on Christmas Eve. So this is definitely something the community is familiar with, just continuing to show the Vaughn family that they are there for them. Their biggest thing is that they just want to come together and until they have answers, until they have something concrete. And like Doug said earlier, Chief Huff told me they finished processing the yard and house that Sarah Wandra lived in. Wandra have, has been charged with failure to report a death, but her status conference was reset, rescheduled to December 23rd because a judge ruled that she is mentally unfit to assist in her own defense and she needs treatment. Just to clarify, Wandra was the person who lived in the house that they have been digging up the backyard and searching the house for. So. Huff told me that they're not quite sure that he said that they're looking to um, provide more information about what actually came out of that search next week about Wednesday or Thursday. So, of course, we will keep you guys posted, but it looks like people are just continuing to come and they are starting right now. It's a pretty somber, somber mood here right now, Doug. It is, but a somber mood and an attempt to really uplift the family and let them know that they're thinking about them and praying for justice. Abby live for us in Fruitland tonight.